Aries, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aries, this is your love reading. December 2021. We're nearly done with this year, eh? Bear in mind, well, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also watch extended videos if you join my channel. I also put them up on my website. Aries, love reading. This is the shuffle coming up. I'm seeing colours, yellow, yellow, gold, a little bit of sort of a reddish colour. Treasure hunt. What? Treasure hunt. Hearing. Um, those metal detectors. Let me know in the comments below what's that. What that's who? Who's this all about? Metal detectors. Treasure hunt. This might be for you. This reading. Okay. overall vibes we've got a brand new beginning well i don't want to speak too soon but this is like a pretty good reading oh yeah so the overall vibe we've got uh ace of wands aces of new beginnings ones are about you know Aside from it being, you know, a bit of a phallic symbol, it's it's, it's word, right? You know, it's also, you know, creativity. Sexy, though. Feeling sexy. We've got the fool here. The cause of it. Just go for it. The fool's about, like, let's, wee, let's go, love, sex, joy, wonderful, yay! So there's a new beginning. You guys are going at it, <laughs> basically. If it's not happening, it's about to. Uh, what you need to know right now. Looks like a pretty good card to me. The sun is, uh, well, it's one of the best cards in the deck, if not the. Look how they're connecting with each other. Look how close they are. Let's have another little look at that. Why is the sun here? For what you need to know right now. I love this reading. You're moving away from this. You're moving away from unhappy relationships being left out in the cold, being lonely, being sad, and, and, um, ignored. All the obstacles that were in the way of love are now done. Okay. Anything else Aries needs to know right now? I just heard Libra, so this could be a Libra in your life, Aries. Heard you say, it's you said it, they're making a lot of sense right now. Not me, the person in question. This person is like things that they're saying to you, things that you talk about. They make a lot of sense. Cornucopia, oh, brilliant. It's just like, it's a feast. Not wearing my glasses so I can't actually see what. Well, you see what that is? What is it? This is like a 
hunk of meat <laughs> to eat. <laughs> I can't see what it is. A saddle? I literally, you know what? I literally can't see what that is. This is how much I need glasses. What am I looking at here? <laughs> Can somebody tell me what that's a picture of? I know what cornucopia means, but what what is what what's that <laughs> picture right in the comments below? Is it a saddle? Is it a tree? Is it a tree? Is it a stump? Oh my freaking god. I don't know. Anyway, there's fruit and stuff and cornucopia is great. It's it's just, you know. Happiness. This freaking fairy, for Christ's sakes. It's, it's a good card. I just uh, literally have no clue what that is. Looks like an elephant's leg. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the card's 11. That's great. Shut up. I know I need glasses. I know my glasses are around here anywhere. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. All right. Anything else Aries needs to know right now? Could be a Libra anyway. Blossoming abundance. It's, it just seems like all of all of the negative stuff is turning around. What's coming up in the near future? All right, eight of swords in reverse. This is like it's 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 releasing yourself. It's it's. Releasing yourself from that prison that you've put yourself in. You're you're letting go now. You're releasing yourself. You're opening your heart, your mind, your soul to new new roads, new perspectives. Tell me more. Somebody please tell me what that card is on the cornucopia card. Have I got the book of that? I have to I, let's have a look in a bit. We'll have a look at the end. We'll talk about it at the end. What is that? See if it tells me what is in that picture of the book. Why is the Eight of Swords in reverse here? You yes, you're you're coming to the end of a very difficult road that you've been on. Where nothing was fair and nothing was what you wanted it to be. There's a lot of loneliness being cut off from friends, relationships, family, or, you know, just love, whatever. It's being cut off. That's, you're, you're releasing that self. It's almost like being cut off in that way, you sort of did it to yourself, even if you don't realise it, you kind of did. Coming up in the near future. Why? Hold on. Why? It was a, from the past. You had a broken heart, and that's you know, you're healing that now. That's that's what it was. Happy family. You have a new beginning and everything that you lost, everything that broke your heart is done with. You're moving forwards. It's, this is coming up again, this being in unhealthy relationships, being lonely, being unloved, being uncared for. The obstacles that were in the way of you having a happy family, you being happy, they're done with now. It's like you're moving forwards, charging forwards. Yeah. Tell me more about this. Why is the Knight of Rods here? This is the best you can hope for. Knight of Rods, Knight of Wands. It's, it's a passionate card. A lusty card. It's like a, a, a passion and a lust. I'm seeing this salamander bite its own tail. It's it's uh, it's like a passion and a lust 
that's a symbol of forever you sort of feel like this this is your person this you, you could have met your one tell me more trying very hard to not put this person on a pedestal trying very hard but you know it works with them they are very balanced person they're they're giving you what you put into this relationship into this connection they're giving that back you're moving away from the past it's like you're breaking free of the past but you're sort of like i'm hearing uh bastion in the never-ending story saying i've got to stay grounded i've got to stay grounded it's like this is you you're like no you know i i I'm, i could let this moment completely take my heart away i gotta stay grounded <laughs> i've got to stay in charge i've got to i've got to think clearly can't rush this. I want to throw myself in. Wee! Like, love, yay! But I gotta keep my feet on the ground. Tell me more. You, it, it's like you're, you're... You're trying to stay clear. If you see any red flags, you're like, I did ta 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 ta. I got a minute. I see a bit of a red flag waving. Hold on, and you pull back, but you know, and and when it rebalances, and you you know, I don't think any red flags you see with this person are like really bad ones. Though it's just like, whoa, we say hello. I just saw a bit of a red flag there. I got to know what that was all about. Oh yeah, it's because I'm completely unhealed in this area of my life. Oh okay, well let's you know you work on that. You 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 do that. You mm -hmm. until it rebalances, and then you're like, yes, we're in a good place again. You're not gonna let anybody unhealed into your life. And that's where you sort of hold back a little bit. And you're like, okay, what did it? Let's take a look at this. They they're like they're totally into you. They're charging in like woo relationship yeah but you know there's a tower on fire in the back with like in the backgrounds there just you know there's there are a few things about this person that you're very right to look out for be be wary of that tower's burning though you know Whatever happened in the background in the past is, is burning down. Which is giving them space to build a new tower. Properly this time. I'm going to read the outcome here. I think you're going to like it. After I read this, I'm going to take it into the extended. Where I'm going to ask about this person for you. Who are they? What's their sign? We'll take a look at that, but... How do they really, truly feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? This is the outcome. Wheel of Fortune. This is you and them together. Having a pint. Having a good time. And anything that sucks falls off that wheel. It's being turned by the universe. You're on that upward swing now. Where everything is getting grey. Tell me more. You're falling in love with this person, but you're afraid to say it. I just heard that. Oh, deeply committed relationship. The past is done. The past is over. This is the end of relationships that, that didn't serve you this is the end of loneliness the end of loss this is you 
and your person working towards a, a higher commitment. The good stuff. All right, I love this reading for you, Aries. You'll love where it is. Look at me like I look at you. It's uh, Amanda Cello by Cheap Drake. If you've never heard that song, please listen to it. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, where are we? I'm going to have a look at Cornucopia. Hold on. I just want to get all your cards out. Think of me like I think of you. One more. Work through your fears. Well, this is, you know, you're being King of Swords, holding back and, you know, you're right to have your fears. You're right to be wary. If you see any red flags, good on you, be wary. But, you know, work through those fears. Don't run away from this person. Talk to them about it. Okay? Hold on. Anyone interested now in cornucopia? Let's have a look. If it tells us anything about what that is. That was 11, wasn't it? Uh, well, it says an abundant harvest. Uh, it doesn't really tell you what's in the picture. Well, it wishes fulfilled anyway. But harvest, great blessings are waiting for you. And you may even find all your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, and all of the above. Doesn't say what's in them. Damn it. Just uh, seeing the reverse. But anyway, the universe is abundant. All that I desire comes to me in just the right time and way. I am blessed. Yeah. All right, Aries, thanks for joining me. See you later.